Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about finding the percentage in a given problem. Let's read the problem. There are 650 grade 5 pupils of San Miguel Elementary School. 20% of them are enrolled in the Online Distance Learning or ODL and the rest are in the Modular Distance Learning or MDL. How many pupils are enrolled in Online Distance Learning or ODL? To answer this problem, we are going to solve for the percentage. Percentage is unknown. Rate is equal to 20% or 2 tenths. Always remember that you should change percent to decimal. How to change percent to decimal? In changing percent to decimal, just move the decimal point from the right to decimal places going to the left. Then put the decimal point. Then you can omit zero and the percent sign. So 20% is equal to 2 tenths. And of course, the base is 650. Okay, what is the formula how to find the percentage of a number? The formula is P is equal to R times B, where P is the percentage, R is the rate, and B is the base. Then we're going to substitute the value of R and B into our formula. So, 2 tenths times 650. Let's multiply. 650 times 2 tenths. 2 times 0 is equal to 0. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. 0 to group 1. 2 times 6 is equal to 12 plus 1 is equal to 13. Then, we're going to count the decimal places in our factors. We have only one decimal place, so we can omit one zero. Therefore, the percentage is equal to 130. This is the number of ODL pupils. Another example, how to find the percentage of a number. What is 40% of 320? So, in this question, percentage is unknown. The rate is 40% or 4 tenths. And the base is equal to 320. We're going to use the formula. P is equal to R times B, where P is the percentage, R is the rate, and B is the base. So, we're going to substitute the value of R and B into our formula. So, 4 tenths times 320. Let's multiply 320 times 4 tenths. 4 times 0 is equal to 0. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Then we're going to count the decimal places in our factors. Okay, we have only one decimal place. Then we can omit zero in our product. Therefore, the percentage is equal to 128. Another example, what is 60% of 400? So percentage is unknown. Rate is 60% or 6 tenths and the base is 400. So we're going to substitute the value of rate and base into our formula. So 6 tenths times 400. Then let's multiply 400 times 6 tenths. So 6 times 0 is equal to 0. 6 times 0 is equal to 0. 6 times 4 is equal to 24. Then we're going to count the decimal places in our factors. So, we only have one decimal place. Okay, then we're going to omit one zero in our product. Therefore, the percentage is equal to 240. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And thank you for watching.